Hi friends, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. If you're new here and we have not met already, then hi, my name is Marissa White, and on Wednesdays, we get weird. For today's video, as the title suggests, we are going to be talking about the cult Heaven's Gate. Heaven's Gate was a cult that was led by Marshall Applewhite and Bonnie Nettles. Applewhite was actually a Presbyterian minister before he founded his Heaven's Gate cult. He was actually teaching at the University of St. Thomas in Texas, and apparently he got caught up having a sexual relationship with one of his male students. Now, obviously, being of the faith that he was in, he was shunned for this, he was fired. After Marshall Applewhite was fired and kind of excommunicated and just kind of floating around broke and being promiscuous and lost, he ended up meeting a 44-year-old nurse named Bonnie Nettles. Bonnie Nettles told Marshall that extraterrestrials had told her previously that she was going to meet him and that the two of them together had a divine mission to complete. Marshall felt the same way. He felt like he had known Bonnie for years and maybe even in a past life, and the two of them were inseparable ever since. So together, Marshall Applewhite and Bonnie Nettles kind of combined Christianity or what they wanted to pluck from their previous religion, and then they combined it with this extraterrestrial type of ideology and just fused it together and pretty much created their own religion from that. They went around together preaching and trying to find members to join their following cult, because it's a cult. Let's call the kettle black here, Marshall. You're running a cult. They preached that the reincarnate of Jesus Christ himself was going to be a thin man from Texas. Well, the funny thing about it is, is, you know, Marshall Applewhite himself was a very thin man from Texas. So they were trying to convince their followers and newcomers that Marshall Applewhite himself was Jesus reincarnate and that the two of them combined were a divine entity that basically had a heightened sense of self, that they were in touch with extraterrestrial beings, divine beings, and that they together were the two witnesses that were mentioned in the book of Revelation in the Bible. They were the ones. So they started calling themselves the two or the UFO two. They also went by Doe and T and Bo and Peep. So they had all these weird little nicknames for each other that they themselves called each other, referred to each other as, and then also their followers referred to them as. They kind of ditched their human identities and their past lives and started over, created this religion, and then just went around trying to recruit as many people as possible to join them. Now, I know this is hard for a lot of people to believe and I can understand why, but they actually did end up getting a big following. And cults are a thing. It's There's tons and tons of cults out there. This is just one out of many. And I believe personally that with cults, I, I've always been fascinated by cults. I just, the psychology of it, everything about it, like how do they get people to believe such absurd things? How do they convince people to do such awful things and brainwash you and manipulate you? The way I try to think about it and explain it to people, in my opinion, is that a cult, in a sense, is kind of like a toxic relationship, right? So a lot of people on the outside of a toxic relationship, I don't know if you've ever been in one, or you have a friend or a family member who is in a really bad relationship that you know is not good for them, and they probably as well know is not really good for them, but you still stay, and there's just something keeping you there, and it's through different tactics, in my opinion, that somebody in a toxic relationship, an abuser, would use towards their victim. You have people who stay in toxic relationships because they maybe think that they're afraid to be alone, or they think they won't get any better, and it's the same thing with cults. They take these really desperate people who are either lonely or so desperate for some type of enlightenment or spiritual awakening or just to be a part of something and to be loved, you know, like the same way that people draw you into gangs. There are sadly a lot of people out there who just really want to belong to something. And I personally believe that is how the founders of these cults get most of their people. 
I myself have been in a couple pretty bad relationships and I remember people around me saying, Marissa, what are you doing in this? Why are you staying? And I always told myself, I would never let somebody talk to me like that, treat me like that, do those things to me. But when you're in it, that is easier said than done. You have emotional attachment, investment, all of those things kind of play into it. And so I can totally see how people, especially desperate people or lonely people, are sucked into these cults. They love bomb you, they make you feel like you're a part of something, like they would do anything for you, and then they totally just use you and manipulate you. So Heaven's Gate made a lot of commercials and recorded themselves trying to, again, recruit people and bring them into their cult. They believed that they had a deadline, right? So this is another Armageddon type of cult. They believed that the hale Bob comet that was gonna be passing through at this time had a spacecraft trailing it. And that spacecraft was the spacecraft, how many times can I say spacecraft? That was the craft that was supposed to carry all of the members of this cult onto the next life, into the galaxy, onto another planet, to be their higher self. It's a spiritual thing. They believed that, in a nutshell, they had to ditch their earthly bodies and leave it behind and go on this spiritual journey and that they would be given new alien bodies. This is a sad story, but it cracks me up. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie Dude, Where's My Car? The one with Ashton Kutcher. Well, there is this group in Dude, Where's My Car? And they're kind of like mocking Heaven's Gate where they all wear these like matching jumpsuits and they're like a cult that believes in aliens and that they're extraterrestrial themselves. And a lot of different movies and things like that have poked fun at this cult. It's actually a really, really, really big, well-known one. So yeah, I just thought that was funny and wanted to add that in there because every time I think about this cult, I always think about that movie. <laughs> Dude, what does mine say? Dude! What does mine say? Sweet. Oh God, I need more friends. So in October of 1996, the group actually combined their incomes and they rented this massive mansion in Rancho Santa Fe, California. Their rent was $7,000 a month. They also, this cracks me up, they purchased alien abduction insurance that would cover each member, up to 50 members, one million dollars of insurance money if they were abducted, impregnated, or murdered by an alien. I shit you not. You can purchase alien abduction insurance. Honestly, I myself, I do believe that there is extraterrestrial life out there. I don't believe that we are the only beings in this entire galaxy, but this shit just is too far. This is crazy. On March 19th, 1997, Marshall Applewhite, the leader of the cult, he actually recorded himself in a clip called Doe's Final Exit. And it's really creepy. You guys can look up the clip. It freaks me out every single time I watch it. It is just so eerie. And it's basically him saying that him and his following are going to be leaving because the hale Bop Comet is coming and they're gonna get on the spacecraft and they're gonna leave their earthly bodies and that you should join them. And the way that his eyes just, its his eyes are so crazy looking, you guys. You can just see that this guy is completely batshit. He keeps saying that we are going to the next level. And if you want to come to the next level, that you need to come with him and you'll be enlightened and you'll leave your earthly body and you'll live this wonderful life with him and his cult and everybody else is gonna be stuck here. At the end of the video, he looks in the camera with his crazy eyes and he's like, last chance. And I don't know why that bothers me so much, but it just, it irks me to know that after that was recorded, the events that followed were mass suicide. He filmed that video and is just trying to convince people to off themselves and go with him on this fucking spaceship that's trailing on a comet. I mean, really? What's even more unsettling is all of the members also taped a farewell message. They were all so happy and excited. There was no fear in them. There was no uncertainty, at least not that you could see. 
and they were happy. They were telling everybody goodbye and that they were going on this next journey, this spiritual awakening, and that they were just so excited to be an extraterrestrial. Move on to the next level. Do you imagine one of your friends or family or someone that you cared about like getting sucked into this cult and then, you know, this ends up happening to them and then seeing their farewell message later? Like, these are real people with families and loved ones and their poor families and loved ones had to sit back and, you know, let them kill themselves, unfortunately. So 39 of the members decided to all dress in uniform, wearing black sweatsuits and a pair of Nikes, and they all got together in their giant mansion, and they mixed, forgive me if I'm pronouncing this wrong, phenobarbite, phenobarbit, with applesauce and then chased it with some vodka. You know, they wanted to go out with the bang. They had to take a shot for the road, catch a cool buzz before they hop on their spaceship to go fly out to Jesus, who is also an alien, who is also Marshall Applewhite. Sounds like a party to me. Yeah, I'll take a shot of poison and I'll take that with the vodka back, thank you. Just to ensure that they really, really did get the trick done, they tied plastic bags around their heads to suffocate themselves. So obviously after ingesting this substance and tying the bags over their heads, they all died. An anonymous call came into the San Diego Sheriff's Department saying that they believe there was a mass suicide and that they need to go do a welfare check at this mansion and they are pretty sure that there were a bunch of dead people inside the house. So of course the Sheriff's Department goes out there and Lo and behold, they open the door and they're hit with a really foul smell and they instantly know what they're gonna find. And they walk in and they just see all of the cult members wearing their jumpsuits and their matching Nikes and they're all clearly deceased. And that was that, they all died. If you guys are super interested in this case, there are a ton of witnesses, um, testimonies, there are video clips that you can watch, all kinds of things getting into the really nitty gritty. This is a basic little overview of the cult and what happened, but there's a ton of information out there. There are people who escaped the cult or who had family members that were in the cult who speak on it and have more personal experiences. And yeah, if you guys want to dig a little deeper, feel free to do it. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a taste of Heaven's Gate. I mean, I literally have a tattoo on my ankle of a little alien in a spaceship that I got basically to just remind myself not to take life too seriously. I got it as a Friday the 13th tattoo, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't care if my own mother is begging me to go drink some poison applesauce to go be on a spaceship with alien Jesus. I'm going to tell you to f off. Who knows? Maybe they're all right. Maybe they're all in outer space right now looking down and it's like, ha ha, look at you dumbasses having pandemics and all this crazy political stuff going on and they're up there chilling with alien Jesus. Who knows? <laughs> That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I super appreciate it. As always, if you did like this video, it would mean so much if you did like it. Also, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe if you want, no pressure. If you do, make sure to hit the little notification bell so you don't have to miss any time that I upload and every single Wednesday when I do post, well, hold on, almost every Wednesday, all right? We had the holidays and then we had my birthday and I was out of town, I went to Scottsdale, you know, excuses, excuses, I know, I know, I know, I'm trying to be better. Give me a break, okay? Just give me a break. I'm a busy girl. It does help me out tremendously. It does motivate me to want to create more content for you guys if I know that people are actually enjoying watching it. So with that being said, I will see you guys on the next video and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye friends. Bye. Peace. Don't join any cults. Don't be brainwashed. Use your own mind. Be smart.